Hi, and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm here with my four-year-old. She wanted to draw a dog, too. And so I thought it would be fun for us to draw a pug. A pug. I don't think you've ever seen a pug in real life. They're no. really funny looking. <laughs> I think they're awesome. They're really little and they have squat little faces. So we're going to draw a pug today, okay? A pug? Yeah, we're just going to draw the face to make it easier. We want to do a quick shout out to the kids at Salina Elementary out in Utah. We're over in Oregon. So we're really excited that you're drawing with us today all the way out in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting bombarded by curls. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get drawing. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to our channel <laughs> so that you can Enjoy more of this crazy curly haired girl. <laughs> I love you. Let's try. Okay. Grab a sharpie and two pieces of paper. Oh, and it doesn't have to be a sharpie, it can be just any old marker. Or a pencil. And let's get drawing. We're going to start with the nose right here in the middle. So draw a line that's kind of curvy. And then do an upside down rainbow underneath it. Can you do an upside down rainbow underneath it? Very good. And then you're gonna fill that in and just leave a reflection. I always miss, miss a lot of pieces. Right, Mom? That's okay. I lost, Mom! <gasps> I leave the highlight! No. Now we're going to draw his mouth. So <laughs> we're going to go this line down. Just the little one. And then we're going to make this swoopy line like that. Good, and then we're gonna do it the other way too. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Cute. And then we're gonna do three. Uh, whoa, are you a puppy? Yuck. <laughs> All right, three dots inside each of those swoopy lines. <laughs> you're funny. No, over there too. More, more. Well, we're only Ma. doing three. <laughs> okay, now do them over there. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> Cute. Now we're going to draw the tongue. What does the tongue look like? It looks like this. Good tongue. Okay, okay so now we're going to draw a rainbow shape above the nose. Oh, try not to bump me. What is that? This is a rainbow shape above what? the nose. I ain't got it. Okay. And then... Whoa! That is a big one. Yeah, that was pretty big. Um, Why are there no eyes? Well, there is going to be eyes. You were supposed to do it right here, right above the nose. Wait, Can you do a new one right above the nose? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mama, it, it has two. Okay, that's fine. It's drinking with two. Okay, so now take right here by your tongue and connect it over there. Good. And then Squeaky! The, yeah. And then same thing on that side. Wait. Well, now we're ready to draw the eyes. I'm going to draw two big circles. Wow, that big. One here. And one here. His eyes are kind of off to the side. Yeah, those are good. And then... <laughs> so, he looks like he has glasses. glasses. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, with pugs, it kind of looks like they're looking two different ways. So you want your eyeballs to be going opposite directions of each other, okay? So you'll do a curve here. Yep, and now your curve over here. So 
let me do two, two dots. So here and here, and you're gonna curve them like that, okay? <laughs> Very good. And then leave two highlights in there. Oh, these are the eyeballs. No, the highlights. And then you fill this in. <gasps> he looks silly like this. <laughs> So you're supposed to fill in that side and this side so that he looks like he's looking opposite directions, okay? Okay. All right, so now we're gonna draw kind of, hold still. Sorry. It's okay. A rainbow shape around his Why? eye. Because that's how pugs look. <laughs> so you want mine as big, my breast Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, keep going. Go down now. Okay, Ari, is this. Okay, good <laughs> Now do that side too. Oh, that one is slant. Whoa! Okay. Okay. <laughs> so now, one thing I love about pugs is their wrinkles. So I'm gonna draw a wrinkle. Not me. Right here. Not me. Yeah, you don't really have room for wrinkles on yours. But I'm gonna draw wrinkles on mine. So now we're gonna draw. I say it like this, like this. <laughs> okay, you gotta hold still. Hold still. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a line from here to here. This is kind of more wrinkles, and another line from here to here. Yeah, so another one like that. Good. So now we're gonna draw the top of the head. It's okay. one of those ears. Funny. I know. Pugs are funny looking animals. Dad, Mom, look. So the top of the head's kind of flat, but with two little bumps. So for you, you can just draw a line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the ear, can I draw the ear with you? Yes. Okay, so we're going to draw a line up and then down and yeah. then curve it out. And then bring it in and up. Wait for me! So that's the shape that the ear makes. I'm not catching up. And then I'm gonna make it go a little bit higher up. My here. mom, my mom, my mom! Okay, you don't need to yell. Alright, so. Whoa, I know how, mom! Yeah, that's great. It looks like an elephant. And they go, <laughs> yeah, goof. Can you wait for me to catch up to you? You could be filling in your ears black. Okay, so you draw that curvy line for the ear. This, this curvy line for the bottom part of the ear. I know, Willie. I know, you already did yours. Can you move your hands so they can still see? Just for a second. Okay, so it curves out and then up and connects. Then you fill it in black. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna have more. Okay, one more thing. I have one more. 
I have to draw the rest of the head. There's a half moon. Down here. He's all done. Whoa, Mom. <laughs> all right, there's our wrinkly cute pug. Okay, I'm just gonna thicken up this line, this wrinkle. I don't want to. That's fine. Can you not yell? So I'm just gonna thicken up this line. Picking it up right here. So for you kids, interested in learning how to draw a pug, well, I'm going to help red. you. Yeah. She's going to just color hers rainbow colors, which if you want to do that, that's fine. But if you want to learn how to... I don't want to do not colors. I don't need this. this. Yeah. So if you want to do it this way, we're going to draw Orange. brown in this section. So when you're holding your colored pencil, you don't want to hold it like this and draw like this. You want to hold it to the side. I don't even want mom. Cool. Because if you hold it the way I showed you before, it can mm. make some really hard marks. And you just want some smoother marks with your colored pencil. I just did this in part of my... And you can move your paper so that you can... Upside down! Sure. Draw upside down, but you just want to avoid having your pencil mark showing. No, too I'm much. not drawing it upside down. So I'm trying to draw it darker. I'm doing like on this underneath part. Now I turn it over and what's favorite color is blue. Mine is. I'm not. My favorite color is pink. So if you push harder with your pencil on the underneath part, it will it will draw darker, but you have to be careful how you're holding your pencil so that it doesn't give really harsh lines. Okay, so you're also gonna wanna do around the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna take this tan color and I'm gonna go around pretty much all this area. Mama? Yeah? I think I need a little bit more color. Oh yeah. Alright, so I've done tan in all of these outside areas. I'm even going to do some of this tan in the tongue. And then I'm going to come back over it with the pink. It's sometimes nice to combine two different colors. Okay, 
so now I'm going to take this gray and I'm going to go back over kind of edges with the gray. So now I'm just taking this terracotta color, it's like a reddish brown, and I'm just filling in a little more. Please, I want it. It's my favorite color, that rainbow. Okay. Thank you. And then I'm going to do a little bit more pink. Yeah. So now I'm going to take this even darker brown and just go along this edge here. So that's how you color your pug. I don't need it. Don't get it. Good. Well, thank you so much for drawing with oh, us. My teeth. Can I on my teeth? Thank you so much for drawing with us. We hope you had a great time. And we'll see you next time. Bye.